My name's Austin, and I'm sure you've already heard that sleep impacts how your body produces and uses energy. But as with most systems in the body, there's more to the story. When we go to sleep, when we eat our meals, and when we expose ourselves to sunlight determines how our body regulates itself over a 24-hour period. This is what's referred to as our circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythm is set every single morning by internal molecules and external stimuli like light. When the cells in our eye perceive natural light, which can happen even with our eyes closed, they alert neurons in the suprachiasmatic nuclei that begin sending signals to help regulate physiological processes in our body, like the release of hormones, body temperature, digestive secretions, and glucose metabolism. While the suprachiasmatic nuclei is triggered mainly when we're exposed to natural light, you also have another clock that's regulated by when you eat and when you sleep, which fine tunes each of the processes in your body. Experts theorize that our metabolic health is optimal when both clocks are operating in sync with one another. Before I tell you how to keep those clocks in sync, let's talk about what it looks like for them to not be in sync and what happens when they're not aligned. Researchers have narrowed the list of circadian disruptors down to three main factors, light exposure, irregular sleep schedules, and late night eating. Don't feel bad if you're doing either of these things. You're certainly not alone. While research in each of these areas is still growing, here's a little bit of what scientists know about each of these disruptors so far. With light, the timing of exposure and its intensity have been shown to impact metabolic health. In a study of over 100,000 women, Exposure to light while sleeping was strongly associated with higher BMI, waist circumference, and waist to hip ratio. On the flip side, exposure to bright light during the day appears to be essential. When scientists in Brazil exposed obese women to bright light therapy, they found a significant reduction in insulin resistance. Being exposed to light at the right time of the day has proven to be an important contributing factor to our metabolic health. Now let's talk about irregular sleep schedules. When I say irregular sleep, I mean getting less than six hours of sleep, staying up past your usual bedtime and sleeping later than normal, or sleeping during the day and working at night. All three of these irregular sleep patterns have been linked to poor glucose control and some possible contributing factors to that could be reduced insulin sensitivity in fat cells, disrupted nutrient balance, hormonal effects like elevated cortisol levels, and increased endocannabinoids, which can lead to increased hunger. Speaking of hunger, the last disruptor, late night eating, is something that we can all relate to. In studies, late night eating has been associated with high blood sugar levels and insulin resistance, which supports the connection between circadian disruption and weight gain. Despite how easy it is to throw your body out of whack, here are five things you can do that are proven to keep your body in sync and operating at its peak. Number one, eat all of your meals during the day. Try to prioritize protein and fiber in your diet so that you're satiated enough to avoid those late night cravings. Number two, make your meal times consistent. This is terribly difficult to accomplish if you live a busy life, but preparing your meals in advance is probably the best way to make sure that this happens. Number three, establish a curfew on late night life. If you have to, leave your devices in a different room as you begin to prepare for bed. Number four, keep a regular sleep schedule even if you have a day off work. And number five, get outdoors for at least an hour every day. Look, I know it's easy to fall into whatever routine life demands of you, but the data is too convincing to sleep on the importance of a balanced circadian rhythm. The more you practice implementing those five tips, the easier it'll become for you to keep your internal clocks balanced as you continue to pursue optimal metabolic health. Thanks for watching.